autonomous driving started. We're starting this run in the UPS parking lot. Our safety team, the left seat and right seat operators, follow a distinct procedure using checklists. As the vehicle moves to the street, it will need to make an unprotected left turn. Uh, the vehicle will be looking for traffic in both directions and deciding to proceed when it's safe. As we approach turn two, the second turn is onto a curved street, so it is it presents its own unique challenges for the perception system to understand where the vehicles are and whether they're a threat to our vehicle. Turn three is a left turn at a light with a dedicated lane. What makes it complex is it's right next to the airport. There's a, usually a lot of traffic. Also, the light sequences are challenging. Uh, it sequences from a protected left turn with an arrow to an unprotected left turn with a yielding light. Um, so when the light turns green, the truck has to stay aware of what state the intersection is in completely through the intersection. The next intersection is the turn to enter the highway. We have to yield for traffic, making a left turn off of the street. It's in an unusual location under the bridge, so we have to spot that traffic and determine whether we can take the ramp or yield for that traffic. As we approach the highway, you'll notice that we're actually below the level of the traffic, so our cameras can't see what's coming until we get very close to the merge point. Uh, this creates significant challenge for an autonomous vehicle, but our system processes this correctly. A constant challenge for an automated vehicle uh, operating at highway speeds is being cut off, as you just saw with that white car. Um, he cut very close to our vehicle. Our system's designed to operate safely and efficiently. We can change lanes to keep the mass moving at the same speed, even when we're, we're faced with slow moving traffic. So our long distance perception allows us to spot vehicles in the breakdown lane far enough ahead that it allows us to make a lane change maneuver safely, signaling and moving as required. You may not see it, but our vehicle can see that there's another vehicle in the breakdown lane ahead, so we stay in this lane rather than going back. And then once we're past that vehicle, we'll go back to the right lane. The complexity of the highway is merging traffic. Uh, in this case, we have clearance so that we can change lanes to avoid a complex merge. In other cases, if the lane adjacent to us was not clear, we would zipper in to the traffic uh, smoothly. We spoke about cut-ins before. We have to pay attention all the time. Here's a lane change while a cut-in is happening. With many autonomous vehicles, that would result in a hard braking event during a lane change, which would be very dangerous. We're constantly on the alert for what we call non-compliant drivers. Here's one coming now. It will not only cut us off, but continue across all available lanes. Motorcycles are a unique feature of the highway. They usually don't come singly. They'll come in pairs or they'll come in groups. And when they come in groups, they'll swarm the vehicle. Our system is trained to handle that sort of behavior. This is another case of vehicles in the breakdown lane. In this case, we slowed down for those vehicles rather than changing lanes, uh, probably due to conditions behind us. After a two hour run, we are taking our final exit off the highway. 
This intersection is very tight. The vehicle sees the lights and then has to make a very sharp left turn, avoiding other traffic in the intersection. We have to deal with chaotic traffic on surface streets. In this case, a truck is exiting a gas station and decides to jump in front of us. Our vehicle reacts and we continue. Our system detects railroad tracks. It checks the lights. It makes sure that the track is clear of trains and we proceed. Finally, we turn into our destination driveway. It too is a very tight turn, so the vehicle has to execute a button hook turn. We then proceed slowly into the driveway. We maintain a position approximately six inches from the curb. We do this intentionally to measure our ability to do high precision maneuvers in tight spaces. So as we approach the building, the curb actually jogs slightly to the right. You'll see the vehicle follow this line all the way to the final stopping point. And there you have a complete two hour run through Phoenix and Tucson to the final destination with no disengagements. <laughs>